I can't hear what you are saying. I still can't hear what you are saying. Don't worry, we'll get you out. You've opened up the warden to bus. Velocity? Have you been there? We have. There isn't much left, but I can see how incredible it must have been. Our ancestral home. The Agnates, they melted the cities. They stripped it bare. We've been running for so long, we gave up hope of ever seeing it again. Is the weapon real? We need some extra persuasion to keep looking. We have nothing to offer except maybe this. The token holds the DNA imprint of the first mongrels who settled here. It's been in my family for generations. Take it. Perhaps it will bring you luck on your journey. Bring us the boss weapon. Our ancestors would want us to have it. It is the key to our freedom.
Nah. Control, come in. Control, come in. I'm gonna chase so bad, Mark. Items should not be scanned. Mm. A century of research and development is at your fingertips. Sometimes the fool must remind fools why it is the law. Something buried in the ice. Scanning for noxious fumes. Cigarette. I was stuck in that godforsaken metal tube for months without a smoke. And then just when I'm about to go home, when I can almost taste that sweet tobacco, this fucking thing goes and crashes. <laughs> and now I'm on the ground, I'm finally out in the open, and I can't have a fucking cigarette because I have no lungs. Wow, this, uh, this is not what I was expecting. <laughs> well, you aren't exactly what I was expecting either, sweetie. 
You're only a touch too late for a proper rescue. Better late than never, I suppose. At least you weren't here when the decomposition really started to set in. Really messes with one's self-confidence when the skin starts to fall off your bones. It's just sludge in here now. <laughs> Thank God I have no nose. Sorry, how rude of me. I didn't even catch your name. I'm Mark. This is my brother Don. And this is Pooch. <laughs> I take it Pooch is the dog original. Were you an astronaut? N no, sweetie. I am an astronaut. Dr. Anna Taylor, SASA pilot and Penrose Allied Biotech Engineer. I suppose I understand your confusion. It's not every day you get to meet a disembodied mind. I was working on a project using nanite technology and organic neuroprocessors to create a network cell-based supercomputer. What does any of that mean? <laughs> How slowly should I speak? I was making lots of tiny computers which would work together to make one big computer. So the big computer would be infinitely scalable. You could work out weather patterns for decades with this much processing power. Imagine an early warning system for natural disasters predicting years in advance. I used my own thought patterns for the nanites. They were split into left and right brain, with myself as the bridge to link them. When the Alexis crashed, my brain was still linked into the neural net. I kept the connection alive, thinking they could just put my brain into one of those fancy new agnates. But nobody came. With the connection to the nanites still active, I scuttled the project and went dormant. Until now. Well, I hate to break it to you, but those nanites didn't die. Oh shit, those little bastards are tenacious. I'm gonna have to do some thinking here. Say so you shouldn't be active. Without any limitations, they will spread and grow. I'm going back inside for a bit. Hopefully all the scanning equipment still works. And Mark, please, don't forget me. The last time somebody forgot about me, I died. <laughs>